and Brady just broke. Finals race to nine. Damian Pompanek. True double elimination. Two double elimination. So Brady will have to beat uh, Damian twice to. Like, would this be retain? Did he play it last year and win it? Oh, so to keep his title. Uh huh. Yeah. He's reigning champion. Reigning, 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 reigning champion. Yep, keeps raining balls in. Well, he's uh, a little <laughs> funny here. Oh, Stevie's out of here. Safe travel. See you later, Mr. Lingleblock. It's smoky out there. Yeah. And it's not it's, it's not Portland, so it's not pot. It's uh, it's real it's real fires. All right. That's what I wish we were doing. Visibility is going to be low. If I know. At night, in the passes, I hope not. It won't be too bad. Looks like Brady's got a new attitude. His last match was a little bit rusty, a little rough. Yeah. Plus, um, I think, you know, like Damien probably brings the best out in certain players too, right? I mean. That was a good break. Yeah. I think Damien's playing the best, the best in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Paul played the best set I've seen all week. But uh, overall, I think Damien's the most consistent. Yeah. Yeah, Damien converts when it seems like his percentage of like getting there when he's supposed to. Yeah. Right. It's like he's pretty consistent. He's, his percentage of getting out, you know. His cue ball's pretty good. Yeah. You know, he prides himself in that too. Yeah, you know, it's neat. <laughs> Enough about him. Let's talk about me. You know? <laughs> See, yeah, there's a little more this there's break. a little more pep in his step this time, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I know. <laughs> oh yeah, he's yeah. leaning he's leaning into these. Yeah. He's gonna get dry here though. But the spore will help him. Yeah, dry break. Right, so, so you a little push roll, out to a, a jump out. shot no. straight in? You just park him at the end rail here and, and see if he's got the balls to cut it in. Uh, I think you roll push up table like th two two inches to make it a straight in jump shot because the two is down here position. That's one option. Your option up there at the end? You mean where he's standing? Mm -hmm. Well, in the middle. In the middle, okay. Yeah, that's good too, because you're gonna actually play the play the one and have the balls for a cover, right? That's a good choice. Looks like he's going all the way to the other he's to getting, the corner. He's gonna use the three yeah. to get to, right. to park his cue ball against the rail. And hmm. good players usually roll out to a safety. Not really an offensive position. I've, uh, I've had some arguments about that before. Um, I think that's the right move. I mean, some some people roll out to a difficult offensive shot. And I, that just that one doesn't make sense to me. Unless well, it's a jump shot. Yeah, right. right? No, I know that's I, like I, the exception, really. Right. Yeah. If you're rolling out to a but I mean, if you roll out to a jump shot that that's 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 that good, um, who's passing on it? Guys, I don't jump very well, you know, right? I don't know. No, because that's a bad move too. Because <laughs> the guy that rolled out there knows he can jump. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he can. I don't think he can float behind the nine here. No. 
I can't. This is tough. You see something. You could play the... We could bank it towards the eight on the low side of the eight here. You see that? Yeah, I, he, I think he was looking at that, but but, come, but the cue ball coming toward the nine. Yeah, is risky. Yeah. No rail. No rail. He's got early control. Now this is this is interesting because the six doesn't go past the nine, does it? Uh, doesn't look like. No, so he's gotta he's gotta come correct on this five. He's gotta get straight in, or I think he's gonna draw. Oh, he's following the ball. I don't, I don't know about oh, that. Oh yeah, he's following out. Uh, well, now it looks like he's he was just, spinning. He was adjusting his cue. Yeah, he's oh. spinning. Wow. So now this is easy to play. Yeah. Drift over here, right? Yeah, that's a smart way to go. Oh, you hit that pretty sweet. This is a different... Uh, He's got a, d a tempo going right now. It's dangerous. A little short there. Mm. Yeah, that cost him. He rushed it, too. He did a little quick. Wow. Oops, excuse me. Damien usually uh, jumps out of his chair quicker. I have, I have a feeling he really didn't think he was going to shoot. I mean, he was really settled in. Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, he hit that sweet. His focus is on point. You come out with a new shirt and you get to the finals and win the point. Is that how it works? Yeah, talk about advertising, huh? You know, just hey, wear this shirt and yeah. you'll win tournaments. So what happened to all the people that were wearing his shirts? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they weren't wearing the gray, the oh, gray and orange. Oh, well, that's the one I had, but nine is false okay, I guess. Yeah. Well, one to one. Brady had that uh, in his hand. He just he put the inside skid down. You know, he put putting that slow inside. Jeff, you're the best at that, man. You know, you're 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 really good at that. When. Uh, when a guy walks over who we can't stand, you know how to get rid of him. I don't know how you do it. It's like you slip out a fart or something. I don't even know. I mean, yeah. But whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You know what I mean? Because... <clears throat> Phew. Uh, this is the Seattle blader right here. Yeah. Yeah. Salt Lake, Seattle. <laughs> that one oh hang. boy, don't don't start breaking good. If this guy starts breaking good, um, he's gonna start playing. Yeah. Jam up. Jam. 
Uh, I missed my cue. I know. It's my okay. Bad. It's all right. All right. I'm a little out of sorts. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, he's going to have these two rails. He's going hit to the, hit the second rail above the side pocket and maintain an angle to make the deuce and hit the bottom rail by the nine and float back up table for the And screen. what some, some viewers don't know is that the speed of this belt is pretty, it's pretty touchy and quick. So you've got to hit this with a smooth stroke. Yep. And, uh, and you got to be careful. Smooth stroke. And he careful. He's done and nicely. Doom, doom. He guys perfect. Played. Well, yep. Salt Lake, Seattle. This guy can play. Key to this out is being straight in on the four. Right where he is now. You know what we should talk to him if he wins this tournament? We should talk him into doing a tattoo so I can see him in pain. That'd be fun. For his logo, his right, jam up right, logo. Yeah. He's so pumped we up on it right now. We get to tell him where the tattoo goes. <laughs> <laughs> like a Mike Tyson tattoo. <laughs> on his face. <laughs> how, how, you know, how invested are you, buddy? We how much? A is little it? bit short here. He's in. He's in good. He can follow and spin tight out of that two rails, or he can draw. I think he's gonna draw, draw it. here and then. To the draw think, right to here yeah. and then spin yeah, out. That's what he does. That's yeah, that's a Damien shot. Yeah, that's the Dorian. Watch this beautiful stroke, everybody. He wants straight in on the floor. Look at that beautiful stroke with little spins. Yep. Zoom, zoom. Perfect. Okay, just so you guys know, when you point to the screen, nobody else can see that. I know. <laughs> I'm actually so flipping somebody off. So <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I think he might. Uh, you do the same thing here. He's gonna punch this and draw to the side rail above the 6-8 and yeah. come back off. Right, because that way he's never out of position. Right. If he tries to follow to the end rail, you know, then it's... Uh, he's going to punch this in with follow. You know, he made me wrong. Thanks a lot, Dorian. Make me look like an idiot. Hate you. He probably had too much angle to do it. Anything to make me right. He's out like a light. I know, I know that. <laughs> but that was the the key, you know. That four ball was could have, you know, could have gotten well. No, nah, he's fine. He's okay. He's, he's got a big pocket, you know. Right. You just play the center of the table here. You can tell by his body language. He's. Oh yeah. It's gonna he's be gonna figure anything out. Yeah. He's that's ready right. to be there. That's right. Center of the table. Salt Lake, Seattle, right there. I play the second rail here. Cue ball. Make mm -hmm. the eight go first rail and then straight across mm -hmm. the table, hitting the second rail and then cue ball toward the eight. But he might just that's float the way, down. That's the way you've been teaching me. I don't think so. I think I think you're right. Yep. Oh, see, I don't like that. Yeah, he he hit that a little bit funny. Oh uh, yeah. It looked like he had it was inside. a touch of inside. You know, he hit he it like a one pocket that. stroke, you know. Right. He's supposed to do it your way, right. you know. Yeah, because the he did it my way. He had the <laughs> he already had the angle where if he just uses straight follow, it's gonna flatten down. His smooth stroke. If you don't hit center ball with that super smooth stroke, that that inside English will really take. Right. And uh, the inside was unnecessary. It, it really was. was. Yeah, it was. But you get into that mode, that smooth mode. Oh boy, it's getting around eight o'clock in here. The shots are getting bigger. <laughs> and the regulars are getting funnier. Just ask them. It's only 6.30. Well, it, it feels yeah, like midnight. Man, I, I, saw, I saw the shots going by at 10 a.m. I don't even know. If I was a cop, I'd just park here, make my limits. I, know, I was the only sober one driving out of here and I drove over the curb. Well. <laughs> There's a mic there. <laughs> I was. <laughs> it was a very it, used, it used to be new. <laughs> wow, he's going to come up dry on this break. Well, look at this roll, man. Can you see that? No. You, no. You, you jump this in and run out, or do you play safe from here? No, you roll it's out. too early. You roll out. But you can see an edge, Jeff. Can he? Yeah. From here, it looks 
no good. But so what's the rollout if you're going to roll out? Well, he's not going to roll out. He must he must be able to see enough. If he can get an edge, if he can miss the eight, he's going to park his cue ball by his six ball. That's right. A little one pocket shot. Yeah, I see Rolling. him going down between the rail and the four ball. Yeah. Oh, he's going behind the six ball. Oh, no, no. Oh, roll out. Did he go? <laughs> did he call, did he call roll out? I don't know. Well, I'd be taking it if he did, right? Brady confirmed. Make sure, yeah. And there's no cheaters around here, so those guys are all out of the tournament. Boy, the level did just go up in this room, the noise yeah, level. Yeah, I'm telling you, the shots got fatter. I'm telling you, the bartender changed. They She's a little spunkier and cuter. They brought and, in uh, long pour. Yeah, and there's more tank tops in here than California Beach. Well. <laughs> well, so the three ball here. And there's no problems here. I didn't say there, there's not a problem. It's just. We, it, well, it doesn't go on the side? The, does no, it go on the side? I, I don't think it's. Oh, low then, enough. There, then it is a concern. Right. You play to go into the seven ball. So he's going to stop his ball and then stun. Oh, no, he's going to do that. He doesn't like it. Yeah, he came up short. Now he's got to go three rails past the nine. Hmm. I think he's going to just trickle this in and bank the three. That's another option. If he can hold there, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean. If it hits the nine, it's not that big of a deal. But where is he? Oh, does what's it, he doing? Oh, maybe the three, doesn't, oh, the three doesn't go. No, I it see. doesn't go past I the seven. See. Well, he, he, he hit that poorly then. Yeah, so now he's looking uh, at this bank. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I don't know if he can. I mean, he knows he's going to be shooting it from like here, right? Because so, it's going to roll. He's, can, he's pretty skinny on the deuce. He could, with a you know a little baby touch of outside to hold it up, just yeah, a little love tap. Here is in the center of the table by the five. What's that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep pointing at the. <laughs> he points at the screen. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Uh, yeah. Keep keep on me. I forget. <laughs> I. I, yeah. I should. One day we'll have a touch screen and you can just you know point on right. the screen and. We need the. We, the, we need the we pen. Need a telestrator. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, I mean, NFL has it. Oh, Why can't we have it? Man, look at all. Think of all the dirty pictures we could draw with a oh, telestrator. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there goes my business license right there. Right. <laughs> Actually, probably start making some money. <laughs> so I like... Uh, Wrong channel. <laughs> if he plays, like, if he maintains this type of angle on the four, then he can stun the cue ball over between the, the nine and the five. I think, I think he, he tries to get straight in on the four. He pops out and gets straight in on the four. And I don't think it. he stays straight in. I think he does that. So now he stuns between the five and the nine to play the five oh, and the Oh, because the five to the six would have been a lot tougher than yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, I see that. So you want to stun this over and like a have little your cue ball be above that foot spot. You got to drive line, it, yeah. right? Yeah, or or so the spot line. Right, the, the line, right. you know, the Same middle line. diamond of this end of the table yeah. line. Where the spot is, and we can't yeah. use our fingers. So, yeah. so he's, just gonna, <laughs> he's just drawing this straight over. Even if he hit this rail, it would be even uh, good to hit the rail and come off like this. Well, Perfect. He parked yeah. it. He's good. It's a little bit of a cut. That's okay. Well, that's what he wants because now the, he just rolls it. An, an and natural around the, around the six. You go around the six. Well, he doesn't even have to to go around the six, he can just roll it in and just play the five and roll the cue ball off the rail to here. But you can stroke it and yeah, go, go around if you I want. I don't like hitting this too soft because you, you, the ball, you, you got to make the five ball go in. Ooh, he barely got there, didn't mm -hmm. he? He, he might, might get belly hooked. He hit that with. <laughs> 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 well, the, the guys in my golf game back home, they, 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 they miss it straight in, and they, they say their ability hooked. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe that's my problem. I'm ability hooked. 
Well, Damien's, you know, he's he's got to go around the table here. With the, I, I might be tempted to play with inside yeah, and, and hit the nine. You can hit some. Yeah, I got you. How about a little soft, lovey, touchy shot here? Some grace. Oh, he totally used inside. He's going to get a roll. No. Nope. No, he didn't. I'm surprised How at that. How did he miss that ball? I, I, man. I'm using that bridge, man. It's. You know, Brady doesn't even like this. Boy, what? Man. He doesn't like this, but it's okay. He knows he's got to come with it. He's, he's not happy with the way he's playing pool. All right, two rails, just straight back and forth. Yep. Out to the center of the Touch table. Touch it right or? No, no, just nothing. center ball. Just like that. And the cue ball doing the work. He's perfect. Same thing here, two rails. You want to hit the, hit the diamond right where you put the chalk. But yeah, I was just going to say, hit the chalk. Because you want to be low, you want to stay high. Look at this, he's gonna hit it perfect. Oh, he moved the chalk, rude. Oh, dare him, Man, oh, dare him. He was like, <laughs> I don't want Jeff to be right. I know, Ugh. <laughs> Whatever, Brady, just shut up and play pool. <laughs> Man, he, these guys. Did you order food? I, no, I couldn't find a menu and there was a line. I know, I have a weight problem. Can't wait to eat. But I'm waiting. Yeah, I guess. You know, I guess we're both waiting. If I was going to watch, I mean, these two are fun to watch. Right. They got that smooth, you know, they got a nice rhythm. Mm -hmm. pace, but they're smooth. Long they're follow through. They have, but they still have that methodical, you know, deliberate approach. Mm -hmm. But but they don't get jammed up. Mm -hmm. there's, there's <laughs> they play jam up, but yeah. they don't get jammed yeah. up. They're, they're students of the game. They, they work hard at it, and you, and you can tell. They understand rotation, too. Yeah. It takes a lot of experience to be a good pool player. Man, I don't know what kind of food I want. What kind of food do I want, Adrian? Um, the edible kind. That would help. You only had like a 14-minute break to figure it out. But. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I ordered my food. What's wrong with you guys? What did you order? The cob salad. That doesn't sound like any fun, though. Well, you know. Hey, dessert. <gasps> Ooh. That sounds like a good That's idea. Dessert. <laughs> Do you have a menu on her? <laughs> you get a menu? Mm. <laughs> nice. Ooh, he let up on that one a little. He paid off. Do you think he meant to cut that? Or do you think he just kind of mishit it? Look at the spin on yeah. the ball, you know? Well, the last match he wasn't making balls that much. So, thank you. You just cut this in and center ball. Yeah, you just got to avoid the seven. Damien's got a shot. <laughs> what are the payouts here today? There you go. 2,700 for first, 1,700 for second, 1,000 for third, not bad. The, first, the top six places get the Ryo Rack. Oh yeah, they get the fancy rack. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hi, lady gets a hundred bucks and a, a Jameson. No, a rack. A, a okay. rack. She also gets one. Um, it's been a pretty good tournament. Yeah. It's fun. A lot I'm, of good I'm a little tired. I've been mm -hmm. doing, you know, running ragged, playing pool. It's a three-day tournament. It's kind of tough.
I don't see any swing in there. I don't see any uh, desserts or anything. Well, they have chocolate cake. It's a oh boy shot about. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Yeah. Let's, look, oh, this is a pretty fundamental out here. This is uh, Damon's going to get some rolls. And start playing, short. A, playing a little bit better. Ah, it's short here. Wow. Yeah, he's in trouble here. Anything is. He's got to hit the four. Or, or cut, or you can cut the three in the side. I think I'd run into the four as my best option, so the cue ball doesn't run. Is the, is the bank? He could bank the three to cross side. Oof. Is there? Is you got to there... make the ball, right? I mean, I, he might be able to miss this four ball. All right. I must go through that gap. Oh, I don't think he played that. No? Wow, I must. Was he shooting the combo? Oh, no. Yeah, it didn't go. I think he was trying to hit the four. Okay. I think Damien's got an edge. Yeah, I think Damien's going to make this ball. I'm not sure where the cue ball is going, but straight up and down. Yeah, he just got to park it. He looked, I looked up at the score. That's Mike D's move. He look up at the score and run out. <laughs> <laughs> That's his move. <laughs> he doesn't like being behind. Uh-oh. He's fine. Stop turning. Okay, he's all right. Mm. Just a touch of inside. You don't need to go around or anything. You just make this ball, right? What center ball? Maybe come in the middle of the table. Can I see the other angle, Adrian? The, um, he's, he's probably in the way, isn't he? He's kind of standing in the way. I'm sorry. See oh, a there bit we go. Of it. The nine ball is so big, and he wants to have an angle for the seven, but I think you're right. The inside he's got, is... He's got a little inside on it. Yeah. At worst, he'd be... Yeah. At worst, he could go rail first if he got hooked a little or if he needed to create something. God, I hate shooting it like that. My goodness. Good shot. It's pretty straight, though. That's what I was saying. If, if, if he got straight here, he, he could use the rail first option if he really needed to. He put so much inside on it. You know... It, that it... Defied physics. Yeah, yeah, he didn't need to do that. Just needed to keep it on, on that center line. I think he's creating angle here, drawing above the nine. Yeah, he's good at that. Oh. Unless he does that. He, wow. All the, do you see the nine just rock to the right a little at the end there? Right. Yeah, and I don't know, it's hard to fault a guy for. Right. Who would expect that when he hits that five ball with that much inside that it's going to bring him dead straight in? I, the camera view had him two tips to the right. Um, I was surprised at how much spin he was putting on the ball. Oh, that's, that's a costly miscue. Well, that's 4 1. We don't want, you don't want Brady uh, comfortable. The more comfortable he gets, the longer we got to stay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're, Ain't you know, we're, the truth. You know we're screwed. Sorry, yeah. Brady. If you ever watch this in the future, I apologize in advance. It's nothing to do with you. I just want to go home. Man, it ain't happening. <laughs> we're going to go home in the dark. I take it you wrote with Damien? Well, he wants he us, to, stick us to stick around. He asked us to stick around, so oh. we're doing that. 
Well, yes, it will be Jester. At least this Brady doesn't know how to rag. True double elimination. He knows how to play, but he cannot rag worth the beans. <laughs> Was that a legal break? Uh huh. I don't know. I think we should call a foul just because it was so horrible. Let's jump up and get involved. <laughs> oh, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. A little more to the left side would have been nice. But. Yeah, I, I, I kind of liked a different shot, but we're beyond that now. Sending the cue ball down here. Edging that one ball with inside. Oh, that looks sexy. What? I got something going on? No, yeah. Just trying to fit in around here. Am I going to watch T-Rex and <laughs> Superman? Who's Superman? You mean Robocop? All right. It's... What, uh, Tony Chohan and Superman. Who's Superman? Do we know? Clark Kent. Other than that guy. Mm. Uh, the pool player Superman. Shaquille O'Neal. I don't know. I don't know a Superman. I was just wondering who T-Rex was. Tony Chohan. Tony Chohan, that's for oh. sure. A bit one pocket. They're talking one pocket match. Why do they call him T-Rex? Superman. I've never heard of Superman. Have you ever seen him? Oh, does he have really short arms or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not because he has a short stroke, I'll tell you that. Right. Oh, Roberto Gomez. Oh. I didn't know about, I didn't know uh, that there was a, a thing. <laughs> Roberto Gomez. Can he play right. one pocket? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, I know he can play great rotation. It must be a tournament, stuff. not a not a gambling match. Or is the guy getting weight? What is, you're gonna have to explain, Willie Tutot. What's the game? What are they doing? What is this that I don't know about, other than everything else? <laughs> wow, Brady hit that good. Hey, did you leave the window? Can't really tell you. I think Damien might be straight in. Damien needs to run out here. If you can see that ball. Oh my God. I'm mean, wondering about dessert. Look at JD. <laughs> <laughs> Be mute, my. Oh, I gotta get. Oh, that's looking fun. Oops, I gotta figure out who you are. Okay. It's the white one. <laughs> well, you know, you guys look alike. It's hard <laughs> right. to tell you apart. Twinsies. <laughs> that's right. Well, he hit that pretty good. I don't know if he can make the two. Looks like he, he can make the two. He might have to power draw past the nine. Let's see if he can get a good roll off the nine. Oh, I see. That's, that was even better. Looks like he can draw back with uh, inside left and get straight in on the floor going into the lower right-hand corner. Mm -hmm. If he gets there, boy, that's a that's a feather in his cap for this set. Yeah, see that inside spin off the rail. That's pretty sweet. Damien's in control of this rack.
Okay. Damien's in control of this rack. All he's got to do is pump in this six. Center ball. And yeah. You know, I think some players forget the benefits of using center ball. Mm, I do all the time. Totally. I like that. Yeah. That was a nice shot. Well, the Filipinos change the game so much. Everybody loves to spin their rock nowadays. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not that easy to do. It's, the game's supposed to be a little more simplified. Oh, yeah. That makes more sense. So it's um, it's the rematch, T-Rex and Dennis. It's Robocop. Robocop, right? yeah, it's not Superman. Jeez. I think, it, I, I think I've seen that before, actually, now that I think of it. Somebody else calling that. About it. All those Filipinos. More like a Mighty Mouse than a Superman, though, I or anything. <laughs> I mean, they're both awesome, but uh, I think Superman's taller. I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> nice job, Dame. Right, Dorian wins game two. And. Um, okay, I gotta ask, why are you calling him Dorian? <laughs> well, um, Damien's been uh, bodybuilding, and um, and we care about Damien. We tease him like our friend, and. We compare him to Dorian Yates, one of the greatest uh, bodybuilding champions. And Damien and Dorian, they kind of... Okay. It's okay. similar, you know. Okay. There's other reasons, too, but they're all <laughs> adult. Terms of endearment. Adult and sexual. <laughs> all right, We can't really then. talk about it right now. We, we could. But uh, uh, that's we don't want that many viewers. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that's really for the other channel anyway. You know. a different kind of jam up gear that we're talking about but all right try no i mean nobody knows who i'm rooting for all right well they got a good roll mm, i don't know yeah you're right but the three the one three is like a little three. mass a yeah, I mean, if he makes any kind of contact, he's probably going to get... But getting around, too, is not... If the five wasn't there, it'd be like a hanger kick. Yeah. For some, <laughs> that'd be a tough kick for me. But. Well, I mean, um, traffic, <laughs> barring traffic, yeah. whatever that route he's is. He's got a mass A here, but, you know, even if he nuts the combo, the shape coming around the corner doesn't necessarily have to happen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you're right. The one, I mean, the one's so close to the pocket with the three, it's He's like. He's rolling out. He's rolling out and letting, he wants a better Massey at it. That's interesting. Make Damien decide. Very interesting. <laughs> that was a quick decision. <laughs> he looked. I'm, well, I'm telling you, I, I might wanted to shoot at this. I hear you. He just doesn't want to scratch in the other corner. Oh, man, he hit it so well. Yeah, he's going to get a five. Oh, here we go. No, nah, it's going to slow down. All right, Damien. Make this. Balls are open. Yeah, look at that. The two ball makes the four pot. Yeah, he's out. Looks like he's out. Yeah. Because getting on the five is easy, and that's the, the key ball. Right, and if he made the, the both two, of these balls, the, two, the two's the hanging. The two, the four is perfect. This is a pretty easy out. You just got to stay in line and hope this ball doesn't fall right in. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is good night. Yep. Wow, look at you. Hi. Oh, Thank you. Yes, that's great. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> There's your blows. <laughs> they want Jeff's autograph. <laughs> no, they want Jeff's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> but you get his you get his autograph first to butter him up. And then they maybe they'll share. There you go. Yeah, that's a perfect angle. Oh, did he get straight here? Uh -huh. Okay.
Oh, he hit that a little oh, short. Come on, that's okay. You gotta pump this in. You gotta cut this in with center ball and uh, go back and forth near the side pocket. No English. You keep your line with a little bit of a high ball. If you put any side on the ball or center ball, a little little high center will keep you keep it straight in line. It's a little straight pull trick. Oh, he hit that short. No good. Well, he might have got a roll here. Look at this. Look at this. Holy moly guacamole. <laughs> I don't, I don't think he hit that with enough speed. I, I think soft roll on that severe cut is uh, much more difficult than ripping at the ball. Lucky. Yeah. Uh, he's got to hit this with some sweetness. Side. He wants to play the six ball in the side. He's going to hit this real soft. Just like that. Hey, and go two rails around the corner, get straight in on the seven. It's a pretty simple maneuver here. Boom, boom. Perfect. Little stop shot. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not too far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I like stop shots. Uh, I, know, I know I won't get out of line and stop shot. <laughs> draw this back just a little bit. <laughs> oh, mm. he, oh, he hit that so quick. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, dang it. That's too bad. He, he hit that a little quick. He didn't take his time. He cued his tip so low to the cue ball that time. I was thinking, what is he doing? And uh, and he did a quick stroke. And that's one of one of my problems too. It's too bad. I don't know. I don't know if it's your tip, brother. Okay, so it's just me right now. <clears throat> Jeff is uh, devouring a chocolate sundae over there. Bye, Chris. Back, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think Paul went to actually go order something to eat. Went to order something to eat. All right, you guys. I don't know if Jeff right. can handle it, but I'm going to sit in with him I for a little it. while. <laughs> I love it. So that uh, Damien's a little bit uh, struggling a little bit. I think if he had gotten that one, hadn't scratched on that one nine ball, this would have been a different story. You know, mm -hmm. kind of. It did change the momentum a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sure did. 
Yep. Yeah, I need to change this. He's a. <laughs> That's better. He's a good player. He'll he'll get it. He'll pull it out. Ah, uh, yikes. But you know he hasn't really been playing much since. What did he say? March. Since he played in the. It's Tacoma. <clears throat> so. Yeah. He's falling. He seems to be falling into the no man's land. Yeah. The position where he's caught between. He's trying to cinch it or take the extra rail, right? Mm -hmm. and like, and he's like where he was there on the three. It's like he could have come all the way across to play the four. He could have tried to cinch it and hold on that right, side. Right. And he's. It looks like he's delivering his stroke he's when he hasn't decided bit, yet. Yeah. So he's, you know, he's got that. <clears throat> Taking off. You all done? And, and Brady's just oh, kind of like we should just go smoothing it, you know, huh? So. And that six goes by the eight, so you know. And then he just has to roll forward, have the seven on the side, draw back for the eight in the corner. I don't yeah. know if he's gonna. I'd be a little worried rolling forward because you might need to hook yourself up behind the eight. Well, you got to make sure you hit it with enough force to get on the other side of the eight, but I think that's no, the I shot. No, I think he's actually going to stun this a little bit. You think he's going to be stunned it up table and take the seven in the side or in the... I mean, it will cut in the, in, in the upper left-hand corner, hmm. but I don't think he's, he's going to come up a little bit on this. No? Or yeah. draw it back in that way. And bump the eight. All right, that works. Okay, that works. That works. I can live with that. <clears throat> can you? Are you sure? Yeah. Can you make the ball? I'm gonna have to go exactly like it needs to be go. I'm not gonna go on okay. I'm sorry. There you go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mute you. That's all right. That's okay. They're not in the normal order. I know. It's <laughs> yeah. It's it's because I took over one because it was a little staticky. So, all right, Brady's about to go up six to two in this race to nine. Here, this is the finals of the 2017 Spokane Open, also known as the Brady Golden Open. So Brady is coming through the B side here. Uh, if he wants to uh, take the final. The championship. Oops, I gave him one too many. Walk away with the uh, the rack, the ring, and the cash. Uh, and the title again. Again, he's got to beat Damien twice, and still make his border crossing at ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That might be a little bit of a challenge. It might be a challenge. Yeah, it might be. So we'll see. We'll see how he does here. But, uh, yeah. I want to thank Jeff and Paul for so oh, yeah. for so long. Yeah, they, that was very sweet of them to do. They really are pretty funny guys. <laughs> uh. I see a 2-9 coming. There we go. That'll change some momentum, I'll betcha. What do you think? Oh, could, it could. <sighs> Would you mute me? Again? Actually mute all of us and that way we can.
All right, I'm back. Damien is trailing uh, six to three. He wants to, uh, he really doesn't want this to go two sets, but you know. <laughs> so what time does that border open? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I didn't necessarily think that borders closed, but I guess they do. Well, maybe it's the one he likes to, to use. Well, I think it's got a shorter line usually. I think I heard that before, that it's just a, usually a pretty quick border crossing. I think we should call ahead and say he stole some <laughs> money from a, an American bar. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm not sure which um, crossing he goes through, um, Jester. But I can tell you one thing. Damien wants to start playing some jam up pool. Yes, he does. You know, he's got to live up to the name on his shirt after all. <laughs> That's a nice shot right there. So, Gary, I don't think there is a split deal in the offing. Uh, they have to play it out. This is one of those tournaments where that's a requirement. I think it's Grand Forks, Mike Isaac. I think that's the one he goes through. But I won't swear to it. That sounds familiar, though. So. Are you playing with this with some... Um, are you, are you going to take the nine in the same pocket as the seven, or are you going to uh, just try to come straight off the, that bottom rail? Probably. I come around. You come around? Yeah. That's a nice shot. And uh, um, I'm a little tall to be Paul Marquez, so you're going to have to be a little bit funnier. Okay. Are you saying Paul's short? Yeah. Compared to me, Paul's a little, well. Paul's a little, he was talking about that himself. He's a little short. <laughs> it's just kind of a, my funny way of saying uh, change the names on the score graphic. Oh. <laughs> you're being obtuse is what you're being. Well, you know. Wait, and it, wait, is that a math term? I don't understand math, <laughs> you know. Math is hard and girls are pretty. Oh, well, there you go. Hi, Jenny Score Saloon. Nice to have you in the house. Oh, and it's um, your score graphic got wonked out in terms of the scores. <laughs> I see that. It happens. Every time you change something, it goes back to zero. I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is either. That's probably a Wirecast way of saying you need to do the update. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't start doing that until you did the last update, though. Oh, that's true. So. And that just caused all kinds of issues. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> I thought she was trying to call us lassies, but forgot well, an S or well something. I was wondering if she was channeling Wee Willie Wilson. Who <laughs> 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 went out and did some sharking last night. <laughs> some hustling. What's that? The sit up. Yeah, that's a little, little steep there, but he can come down and play the six up in that corner.
Got a little funny here, obviously. Oh my goodness. Jenny, how did you get pneumonia? Feels like I have pneumonia with all this smoke in the air. Oh, it's awful. It's it really bad. Awful. And with people coming in and out of the bar, the haze is starting to come into the bar. <laughs> Nicely done. Come across the table. Just a little bounce. We um, go to the long view. I suppose. I want to see how much of an angle he's got. <sighs> Draw this back. It's going to dry over. Over and back. <laughs> couldn't draw it straight back yet. No, the he angle. couldn't. He had too much angle for that. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of nasty fires around. I pulled up a map that had Oregon and Washington fires, and it. The, so there's little fire icons mm -hmm. all over for the. Uh, with locations of the fire, it literally looks like the state of Oregon is, the entire state of Oregon is on well, fire. Well, you know, the, the funny thing is, is the smoke here is not just from um, the Washington fires. Right. It's from the Montana fires yep. because the wind is blowing east from mm -hmm. there, right? Mm -hmm. And then we've got the winds coming west. They're blowing and, and coming down from the south because we've got the, the BC fires mm -hmm. and the uh, Washington fires. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, there is like this perfect storm going on because the, the, the winds are coming up from uh, you know and it's just like we get this Oregon you know and it's it's crazy out there you walk outside there is actually ash falling you know so we're gonna walk out there and there's some ash all over the car it's it's yeah it's, it's a little crazy it is a little crazy but Uh, Javier, the best one pocket player in this room right now, I'm going to say, is J.D. Doherty. <laughs> huh. J.D.? I don't know, so sitting here. He's the only one that I know of other than Mike Robinson, who is not here right now. Damien. Yeah, but I think maybe J.D. Yeah, is probably, probably better. Probably J.D. plays be better. Brady's either pushing or jumping over this mess. Damien's gotten the last three racks. He would like to get three more, at least. And help Brady with his uh, border crossing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Damien is one is a very nice guy, and he would go out of his way to help Brady make his border crossing. <laughs> Want a headset? You know, you sit in that chair, you got a headset on. You can, you can just put it on to hear the gold that is coming out of our mouths. And I, I promise I wouldn't let her turn you on. That's my job. <laughs> I see what you did. You made Brady miss. I did not. He's, he's managing his Fargo rate.
He's not gonna like that. He's not gonna like that at all. The only good news about that is he's got a thin cut on the one. It's gonna make it hard for Brady to hold that. He's gonna have to put some draw and some spin on that to hold it down there. Yep, oh, that's good. Did. That's good. And then he just has to, uh, he's got a little bit of angle so he can come forward uh, on the other side of that six, try to get himself up. some angle on that three it looks like that he can maybe get over to the other side of that table he has to get on the other side of the seven if he wants a straighter in shot straighter in right. that sounds bad but it does sound or, bad. Uh, or he could play to get in that window between the nine and the seven to try to do something with the four and he's trying to get all the way over there is that going to be in the drink oh. <sighs> that's unfortunate that gives Yikes. Damien an opportunity to tie this up. It's too bad that four isn't off the rail a little bit more. Four nine. <laughs> I'm just thinking about Brady and his border crossing. All right. So he's uh, he's going to put some draw on this. He's going to draw it across the table. He's got to be careful about getting too close to that rail. Oh, he's That's good. perfect. That's perfect. So just going to bump off the rail here, have six in the other corner. Yep. Beautiful. It's very good. I imagine he is probably going to play the side rail on this one. Come out above the eight. Oh, all the way up and play it inside. Yeah. Just draw it down, take the eight in the corner above the Bad Boys logo. Or spin off that rail and come out from the other side of the nine. Now he's starting to live up to that logo on his shirt. It's a whole new ball game, folks. We are tied at six. Race to three. Okay. You're going to miss me, and you know it. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm going to start getting these Facebook messages. How you doing? <laughs> in, in the right tone, you know, i got to have the right tone. Wink, 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 nod, nod. All right. So if you are just joining us, you are a day late and a dollar short, man. Uh, we have been here for a couple of days at Black Diamond Billiards in Spokane, Washington for the uh, 2017 Spokane Open. We are in the finals. We have Damian Pompanic sitting on the point, uh, and he is playing Brady Golan. Nine ball, three foul rules in effect. Um, nine ball breaks do not count in the bottom two corner pockets, but they would count in the other four pockets. So, uh, yeah. You're number four. So you slide this up and push that button and you're live. And I'm live. And you're live. And I'm live. You're no longer a zombie. How do you figure that? Uh, I feel like a zombie. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, I was here, you know, 8 o'clock this morning. Nice. So I got a little bit of extra sleep because we didn't have to use all the tables. Yeah. But I still cleaned all the tables. <laughs> 
You're such a good TD. Thank you. <laughs> you do a good job. Well, Damien got himself out of that pickle. He did. He did. Um, but he looks a little straight on this one. Oops. Oh, nice play. That's a nice shot. Nice shot. That's really a nice shot. Very nice. He's got kind of a funny angle to try to hold this, but he doesn't really have to, you know. Yeah, yeah. But he does want angle on that six to get over for the seven. Oh, yeah. Now the oh, question yeah, is, it's he might be draw it back so that he can play that seven on the side. Yes, yeah. Instead of trying to. Damien has oh, yeah. a good draw stroke. He's got a really good draw stroke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does. So he could certainly do that. Yeah, he's, he's stroking it. Nice stroke. Good speed. Got a little bit off that rail, too. That's, yeah. that's good. And he's not too straight on this eight nope. either, which helps. I would think he'd want to be a little straight just to just cinch down for the nine. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Oh, oh got to make, he popped up on that. Yeah, he did. He was too confident of making that seven ball. Yep. He, was, he was already He was shooting counting the, the out. He, he was counting the out. He yep. was already on the eight before he was shooting yep. the seven. Yep. Yep, yep. Can't make those kind of mistakes against nope. Brady. Nope. He'll make you pay for it. He will make you pay for it. Damien's done all that work to climb back in and make yep. it hill hill, and then you just make that one little mistake. Yep. And he's saying, I can hear him right now, he's saying that seven skidded on him, which mm. is always tough. He's going to go ahead and give that to him. Yep. So it's a Brady win. And if you push the plus sign on that keyboard. The plus sign the, here? Uh, next to backspace. Uh, this one. That'll add the win for uh, Brady. Brady. Okay. So. So, yeah. Brady's got it going on right now. Yep. Yep. And how he was saying that ball skidded on him a little bit. Uh, I wonder if he used a little bit of inside because that happens. He might have, yeah. Use that inside and it'll skid just a hair and that could do what that just happened. <laughs> Would you hit the enter button on her computer? This one? Mm-hmm. That, that changes for? the camera angle. Ah, camera angle change. Mm-hmm. Ramil better be careful. You're, you're being a very good intern. <laughs> <laughs> you might graduate from Sherpa to intern. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh, 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 well. <laughs> Gets a got, pretty monstrous got, break. Yeah, and I got three balls in on the break. And wow. Looks like he's got a clear pass. Should I? Change it yeah. to Yep. Yep, yep. I'll let you drive that since you're closer. Yeah, looking at that angle, it's is it going for the safe? Or the carom. Nope, he's just gonna cut it straight in the side. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> I thought he might have been playing the carom on the three, but he avoided that. Yep. Playing for the four on the side. He's got that. He's starting to pick up his pace a little bit here. Well, you know, it is 741. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's fine. He's, he's fine. fine there. Yeah. I thought he was going to get on the 50-yard line with that, Ooh, but yeah. he was able to get up above. And, yeah. It comes up with a decent <laughs> angle, but now it's a speed factor. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to overstroke this ball and end up 
too far. Look at you changing camera angles. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice out for Brady. Do I get a Brady. gold star for the day? Yes, you do. <laughs> so that puts Brady on the hill. So he's, um, as uh, Paul Marquez said earlier, his ass is smelling the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> where does Paul come up I with some of these no things? I have no idea says. where he gets they're, some of the stuff very, he says. Like eccentric and yeah. just they're perfect for the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> well, and speaking of gold star for the day, I did order ice cream and it's not Ooh. here yet. I'm a little uh -oh. disappointed. Uh oh might have to send our junior Sherpa over to see. You might have to send the junior Sherpa. Easy for me to say. The mini you. The, the mini Sherpa. <laughs> I ordered some ice cream. Can you go see where it's at? Because it doesn't take long to make ice cream. It's already made. <laughs> it should Unless be. they have to go milk the cow and it do the be. churn and all that other stuff. Yep. All right, so here we go. Brady Golin breaking, breaking for the win of the first set. <sighs> you know, and it, if anything follows suit here, I don't think we've ever had anyone win straight across in I don't know how many years. It's always been a true double dip. I, well, I think uh, there was the year that Paul and Brady played in the finals a couple, three years ago, wasn't, no, Paul was sitting on the point and Brady yeah, came back. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. And then there was, uh, I want to say four years ago when we had our local kid, yeah. Zach, um, yeah. had the point and Brady. Brady schooled him. Brady, uh, yeah. Nice little shot there. Mm -hmm. Wonder if that eight ball goes by. It's tough to tell. I think it does. But it ha by. having the, those four balls right there, he's he's looking. Ooh. He's not liking oh, it. Maybe. Oh, he's not liking oh, it. Oh yeah, he's not liking that. He's not liking that. He's seeing if they're frozen because if they are, it's gonna. Yeah, that could. I could definitely She's change. On it. She forgot to put it in. It's ice cream. Rude. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm wondering. Well, I think now what he's trying to do is get. I think he was trying to get an angle on angle the five, and he can maybe out. break yeah, that out a little bit. Overrolled it. it looks he just like. has to nudge a little something, something. Mm -hmm. Maybe it does go. Maybe he's not as worried about it as I thought. No. I think he might try something here. I don't know if he's got the, the right angle on it. Oh, oh just going to come straight up. Might be a little short on the seven ball. have to come rails. We're going to call him rails. Rails. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, now, now we'll see. Now, now we're down to something kind of tricky. Didn't even hit the nine. Yeah, didn't even move the nine. It's a great shot. All right, so Brady takes the first set, nine to six.
Welcome back, everybody. I think we are getting ready for the second set of the 2017 finals of the Spokane Open. Um, we've got Damian Punk Panic sitting on the point. Brady Golan coming from the B side. Brady took the first set by a score of nine to six. And now uh, Damian's racking uh, for the second set <coughs> to get started on the second set. Got it going on. Switch angles so you guys can see the great break that Damien has. And then we'll get started. You're two now. <laughs> All right, so uh, Damien came up dry on his first break, and so Brady's got control of the table. He's got a little bit of a drill going on there in the middle of the table with the three, the four, and the seven. I would, for crying out loud, I'd go for that combo. That looks like a pretty sweet setup. And if he does, that puts him up one to nothing right off the bat. All right, I'm back. I hit the button. Excellent. Who are you looking up? Oh, What's it? That's all? <laughs> That's all. That's all. <laughs> oh, he's just he's just slightly higher than I am. Yeah, just like I think three points, yeah, maybe. Something like that. Three points? Just, three just points. a little bit. <laughs> watch, watch, watch your tone there, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wrong tone. Wrong tone. <sighs> all right. Brady's got control of the table and the break. And uh, he's been, of all the folks we've had on the stream table this weekend, he has been the most consistent at getting some balls on the break. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful snap. Where's that one ball going to land? What, what about... <laughs> well, he probably is watching. It's just he probably is watching. He's just not writing in the chat room. Who? What? Oh, uh, our friend Chris White. White. Oh, oh yeah, he's been in and in and out yeah. all weekend. Yeah. Alicia was wondering <coughs> if he was, you know, watching, and it's like, well, I don't know. Yeah, he's been in and out all weekend. Yeah, I'm sure he is, especially being the finals. Mm -hmm. He's probably. I don't know how many viewers. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that could be dangerous. <clears throat> that could be the break Damien needs yeah. because I do believe that that three ball will go into that corner pocket, into that side pocket. And you uh, know, this is very reminiscent of that seven ball shot. Yeah. Oh, there's Chris White. There hey, we Whitey. go. <clears throat> yeah, so then Alicia. Damien's just got the uh, Alicia four in the corner, come out for the five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think the six will go by the nine into that corner pocket. See what side he ends up on. Yeah, I think that's what he's playing for. Take the five down here, take the six past the nine, and yeah. then float down for the nine. 
Well, he's looking at it. This uh, this angle might show that. Uh, it's still. <laughs> it's tight, but I think yeah. it goes. I think it goes. Sit, sit, sit. Well, I think that works. He just has to, this is just a speed shot. Oh yeah. You know, just has to control his, his ness. <laughs> I forgot to give Brady his first win. Uh oh. I gave it to him in score saloon. I forgot to do it on the score graph. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, at least the, the folks following the score saloon yeah. saw that. All right, so we are tied at one. Damien Punk Panic and Brady Golan. So, uh, <clears throat> do you subscribe to the old adage that uh, the first set favors the person coming through the B side and the second set favors the person sitting on the point? Uh, or because of the nature of this tournament and the fact that Brady's in the final, that go out the window. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but at the same time, he, he's been struggling through this tournament. Oh, he has. He has. Yeah, and he, he got, you know, some lucky opportunities in previous yeah. matches that were yeah. huge that saved him. Yeah. So... At the same time, you know, it, it's still a coin flip for me right here. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting. Like, if he does fall short, it will be interesting to, to f try to figure out if that match with Paul took some of the wind out of his sails, you know, because yeah, he was that cruising one, oh. up 7 to nothing, and, and then, then it Paul. was 7-7, seven, seven, and then it was 8-8. Eight, eight, yep, yep. And Paul was cruising, and a late rack mistake and that's how Brady ended up back in the finals. Yep. So those kind of matches take their toll. Alright, so Brady can see the edge of that one ball. Well he's not gonna be so bridged over it that we can't see it. <laughs> Ramil. What's Ramil saying? In turn two can't point using his upper lip, I bet. <laughs> I don't want to know what that's in reference to. Um, because Ramil is Filipino, he can point with his upper lip. Oh. <laughs> so he'll say, you know, something like, you see that guy over there? Oh, over there. And point with his upper lip. Yeah. 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 And, uh, that, that one, I it's, will. It's a Filipino talent. Yeah. Apparently. Well, I'm definitely not Filipino. I, I'd probably say I'd be more Irish. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna get get there? He was trying to get yep. below the eight, yep. I think. Uh, below yeah. the four. Uh, is that, that the four? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it looks a little black with all the haze in the room. Oh, you know. Man, my. The haze outside, the haze in the room. It's eight oh two when Andy said that. <laughs> it's only eight oh three. <laughs> I don't get what your issue is, Ramil. It's 7.41, and it's... <laughs> I, I have no idea. That was a nice shot right there. He has a, he has a tendency to get all worked up over little things. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I'm I'm still a beginner intern. It, well, you know, you you were oh. a sherpa a sherpa a lot soon, but longer. You've been sherpa longer than he's been intern. So ah, okay, okay. So you know, there's you got some cred already built up there. Yeah, yeah. This little girl is cleaning all the sand off the. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> cleaning all the sand off the uh, shuffleboard table. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> uh, 
So what did you do with this shot here? Are you trying to... He is going to get sweet on this three ball, I think. Oh, yeah. But he's got to, you know, play some good position because there's not big windows. No, that four is a little bit covered up with the eight and nine. And, but if he can get on this bottom rail, man. Yep. Then he just has to come out between the uh, eight and the seven. There we go. Yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And wow. he, he was stretched kind of funny. Yeah. No. That was a, a critical unforced error. Very critical. So Damien needs to capitalize on this. Yep. This is the this is the things you got to do when you're playing guys like Brady and Paul and Damien. Mm -hmm. When you get these opportunities, you got to bring it home. Yep. Either run the rack out or put them into jail. Yep. <clears throat> and with only you know, four balls this, left, yeah. yeah. And the way they're all spread out, there's <laughs> not much of a chance there. of uh, putting them in jail. The one thing that Brady had going for that shot, though, the uh, six ball was fairly straight, yeah. so Damien really couldn't do nothing with yeah. it. Cue ball was kind of jammed up. Now, he could run this seven over behind the eight and try to bring the cue ball down to the bottom rail. He could, he could. I think he might have the angle for that if he wants to play it safe. Nope, he's just gonna fire it in. Boss Mustang thinks you're doing a fine job. Thank you. <laughs> Nice four ball out. Yep. Capitalize big on that. Absolutely. That so that puts Damien up two to one. <clears throat> it's still a race to nine. That means it's a eight seven handicap. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Is Ramil being saucy? Oh yes. He said next time Brady doesn't sign up, give me notice and I'll sign up. You know, that's chicken talk right there. It is. Isn't it? I that's actually chicken talk. What? Yes, yes. <laughs> he's he's their Sherpa in Seattle. <laughs> um, I actually when was it? I wanna say two years ago? No. It was a while back. Um I actually got to play against Brady in this tournament. Mm -hmm. And it was the time I was using one of the BK3. Ooh, Ooh that's going to hurt. Yeah, it is. I was using a uh, BK3 brake cue, but I had a uh, 314 shaft on it uh -huh. for braking. Mm -hmm. And I, I found that to be a nice combo. And... I noticed Brady's brake cue kind of looked familiar. It was a BK3 with a 314 shaft nice. on it. And so I asked him, and he's like, oh, this, yeah, I, I guess I switched brake cues on accident. He broke with my brake cue. That's funny. <laughs> against me. That's so funny. So is that cheating? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's funny. <laughs> That's very funny. And then when I go to put my, my brake cue away, I actually couldn't separate the joint because of his monstrous brake. Wow. It took two guys to, to separate the joint. It's a unilock. Wow. Yeah, he puts a lot of oomph into it. Yeah, it looks like he might come up a little, no, a little funny. No, I think he's all right. He, need, he needs this angle to get into this uh, down here for the five. Yeah. It's good speed. It's going to be a little funny on the rail, though, I think. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Especially trying to get good position for the six to the seven. He might play to run into the six. Nope. He's just coming down to the rail. Yep. This is good, you know, because he just really has to bring the cue ball off the rail, and then he's got angle on the seven to get take it past the nine and get up table for the eight. Oh, yeah. So this is kind of a connect the dot sort of out. <laughs> so... Good, good speed on that. Excellent good speed. speed, yeah. Over and back, over and back. <coughs> and Tied at two. That nine, yep. Tied at two. Do you um, give up the nine ball very often? I used to. And before going to Vegas, I actually was uh, working on some stuff and had Smiley, our local pro here, yeah. helping me out with some stuff. And we never gamble for money. We play for lunch. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, we'll do that. And I gave him a nine ball, and he grabbed me by my shirt, looked me <laughs> square in the <laughs> eyes, <laughs> said, don't you ever give up a nine ball. Okay. Go down to Vegas for the APA event, and I was playing in a singles event, or in one of the minis, and uh, playing against a seven, and I rattled the nine. And so he got all cocky, and he, he's just looking at me, he's like, well, you're not gonna give it to me? Nope. So he gets all cocky, gets up there, and swings at the cue ball without really aiming, and miscues doesn't even hit the nine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is why you don't ever give up the nine. I never do. Yeah. I don't give up anything. The, actually, the first time I saw it was at this tournament about when I first started shooting pool. And it was, what, five years ago when uh, I came into this tournament? And I was like, why do you why do you give him that? Oh, it's just to speed things up. Oh, okay. So I thought time wise, yeah. and now I've learned. No, if you want to win, you you make every ball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Mike Isaac and uh, Chad Olson are talking about, well, because Chad says that every time he uh, plays Brady, he's beating him. And that's usually who puts Brady on the B side the past few years. I'll have to look at the brackets, but. Oh, taking a swing at the nine. Yeah, sure was. That's, um, leaves a little bit of a window for Damien, I think. Yep. He can at least see the one, either take the two in the side or do the two seven since the seven is, you know, right there by the pocket. I think the three. I don't well, think that. No, no, the three does not. No. I don't think the three goes by the nine, but it might. 
Might be too close to get in there. And he might have to play it, it rail. Yeah. Off or the rail. he could he could try to run into the three here, and you know. possibly pop the nine in at the same time. Maybe if he does. See what kind of speed he uses. Maybe. Nope. Just going to make the one. Yeah. Get up above the two. Two. You know what he'll probably do after this? He's going to go for a carom. Yeah. Pop. <laughs> yeah. Pop the nine in off the three. Thought he didn't hit that hard enough. Damien goes up three to uh, two over Brady Golan. This is the finals once again of the 2017 Spokane Open, coming to you live from Black Diamond Billiards in Spokane, Washington. Yeah. Uh, I am Ann Bounds with Rail Trail Productions, and I'm here with Will Wilson. One of the our infamous the Will. infamous White T Will, uh, <laughs> A.K.A. We Willie Will We Willie Wilson. Yes, We Willie Wilson. Yeah. This tournament's always fun. It's a great tournament, you know. Yeah. We, yeah, it's a tough tournament, and you really have to have your A game if oh, you yeah. want to get very far in this tournament. But it is a great tournament. Yep. Oh, whoa. He, he got almost lucky scratched. There. Yes, he did. Did he make anything, though? No, I think he came mm, up dry. Came up a little dry. Yep, came up dry. Not a grand look at that one ball. But he's got an edge of it. Push it over to the, you know, towards that corner pocket. Bring the cue ball back down table as a safe. That might work. Yep. Just gonna play the. No, just gonna get try to get behind the three. Oh, he didn't get it. No, he did not get behind that three ball. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me, kid! Don't pop that balloon. Looks like Damien's gonna get the, the hide on it. Ooh, oh, I thought he was gonna get a lucky roll there. He's got to get behind that four ball. Yep. I think that's good. He's got a nice little little safety here. So who brought their barbecue inside? <laughs> who brought their smoker inside? <laughs> Can't you smell it? Can you smell a little, little, little what the rock is cooking? This is so good lord. Is that the sleep deprivation kicking in? It could be. <laughs> could be. Lack right. of uh, like more like the oxygen deprivation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops, that is not good. That is not good. Ball in hand to Brady. You know, I'm wondering if this uh, smoke in here is affecting, you know, some of this, some of these shots. Oh, maybe. 
a little bit of something, something on yeah, the balls. Yeah, a little bit of, because I know coming in this morning, you could see ash falling from the sky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, little things like this, some people don't take into account. Does Brady play APA? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, if he doesn't, he'd be a new player, so wouldn't he start as a 4-4? Four, four? <laughs> uh, Sign him up. Yeah. Sign him up. We'll, we'll make him uh, shoot against Ramil first match. That would be very funny. Well, he's the one that asked the question. I know. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, better bring your gay game there. Uh, His triple-A game. How is he going to get behind that six? Ooh, he is hooked, I think. Look at this action. Oh, the yeah. He slammed, that was better. He slammed he's, the chop Yeah, down. he's a little hooked. He is a little hooked. He's going to go for a kick here. Off the nine. And gets a lucky. And lucky. gets the roll. Got a, he got the whole jelly donut there. Wow. wow. Oh, the good old jellies. He's kind of <laughs> grinning because he knows he got way lucky there. Now he's got to be a little careful because he's got to get shaped to not run into the seven or run into the nine. To yeah, come I think down. he's fine. He's fine, I think. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got a tied. We tie do ball have game. a tie. Race to six now. You like how I keep shortening the races? Yeah, I've noticed that. Trying to speed things up. <laughs> I didn't do anything. She used she the couldn't wrong even tone. tell me I had the wrong tone because I didn't even <laughs> say a word. Can arching your eyebrows have a tone? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, then maybe I did have the right tone. <laughs> <laughs> it's all her fault, you know. She laughs at everything I say, so. <laughs> that know. is true. Sharon, Sharon does. Sharon totally encourages me. <laughs> She's trying to be incognito. <laughs> oh. Sounded like he put a little more oomph in that yeah, one. Yeah, that sounded pretty, pretty stiff. Yeah. Has a look at the one. Two ball is down here, right about the middle diamond on the foot rail. Three and four are up table, and he's going to get really sweet on this two ball. All right, so are you going to put a lot of follow on this and try to go off that side rail above the eight, or are you just going to try to get in that window between the five and the eight to see the three? You know, I might even try and come behind all that, ah, just like that. All right. <laughs> see, the, the thing that I would have screwed up there is I probably would have run into the five, into the five and been trapped or behind something. gotten trapped behind the six. Yeah. That would have been you know, see, what I did. It, it, I don't even think about going in behind them. Yeah. It looked like he had uh, planned on hitting that six to get it off the rail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which was good because that was one of his, his problems is 
That six on the rail. Oh yeah. So now it's clean into the side pocket or either corner pocket on that table. Just and this is the on. angle on the five that he needs to get up there. So uh, some people are looking up these boys as uh, Fargo ratings. Mm -hmm. They have uh, Damien at 716 and Brady at 743. So I don't know if that'd be a one game spot or not. No, probably <laughs> not. Probably not. All right, so Brady goes up uh, four to three over uh, Damien. Romeo, what are you talking about? Brady minus one, Damien zero. What are you talking about? Romeo, if there's a lag between the video and the chat or whatever it is you're talking about, you, you need to uh, refresh. Yeah. If it's just the chat room that's lagging, close the window and reopen it. But, uh, you know, and reset yourself. But you should know these things because you're a quality assurance manager. <laughs> anyway. Almost got the one in the side. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. See, it, it's kind of interesting seeing, you know, Brady's got this big monstrous break. Mm -hmm. And how the, some tournaments you use the magic rack and the guys go with the soft break. Um, I noticed not even putting that much power on the balls for the break on this tournament. I was still making two balls like I was with the Magic Rack. I was dropping down to like 40% on my break, hmm. which would probably be 10% of Brady's. <laughs> we, we, had, we had some people struggle mightily on this table, getting balls on the break, yeah. um, but they weren't hitting them as hard as, as Brady and Damien are. Yeah. It's the, the people that were really going after it that were having the most success pot in potting balls in the oh, break. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, thanks, Ron Rutan, for... Uh, your appreciation of the stream. We are enjoying this. <laughs> Streams like this, Adrian and I don't get to play. Um, it's just too hard. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially since our intern was traveling and couldn't come over here to do the commentary while we were playing. Just have to drag him by his lip. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that, that pointer over funny. here. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> uh, what a crack up. All right, so Damien's gotten a little funny on this three ball. I can uh, go for the bank here. But that's me. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's gonna, playing the safe. Yeah, he's going to try to get him. locked behind that five yeah. ball. That's, uh, I think that works. That uh, works out quite nicely, I believe. Yes, Boss Mustang. These are uh, newer balls. They are not brand new. They're newer uh, Cyclops balls. <laughs> we never used them. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. These table nines are actually a lot newer than the rest of them. I forgot about that because... Well, that's because they the have less Sharon mileage. Bledsoe yes. <laughs> donated her balls. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I didn't think Wes was too happy about that, but, you know... They, they, you know, it made things really nice for this tournament because it, it eliminated one of the biggest complaints that people had Ooh, that's another good one. Yeah. And these these are all made by Cyclops. So Cyclops does indeed make a standard color. Yes. Balls. So you know, 
which I did not know that until Brian and yeah, Wes got yeah, their diamond they've, tables. They've done that. They've started doing that a couple of years ago, I yeah. think. Because the first ones so. I saw were the Skittle balls. Yep, Easter eggs. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Damien wow. got a nice got, save. Yeah, he got a, got a great open window here. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably it, just a stop shot on this three, I would think. Yeah. Cut the four in. Should be able to come <laughs> right, like right around the seven. Yeah. To come up table. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of what I think. Oh my god, we think alike. <laughs> is no longer safe. Oh, that's nice. beautiful. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Very nice. Even has a little angle too. There's any added pressure on Brady because he has won this event so many times? Or do you um, think at his level it just doesn't even matter? You know, if you talk to him, he he has that mentality of, oh, I don't care. Mm. But yeah. then once he hits the table, you see this demeanor of, mm -hmm. oh, no, I, I'm here to go to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Might have just hooked it. Yep, yeah, he, he hooked sure himself. did. He sure did. Look at that. Trying to force an angle. Yeah. Instead of just playing like a stop shot. I thought he could have just rolled forward and you know been better off. Well, I think it's because it was a little too straight. Maybe. That trying was, to yeah. roll. Maybe. See how he fares out. Uh, well, does not look good. But no. the cue ball is on the rail. Yeah, but you know, <coughs> I don't know. We've I've seen Brady make this three rail shape <laughs> a lot this weekend. So yeah. You know, I, Now shots like these are big testers for a lot of, a lot of lower level players. But watching guys like this just fire this ball in, just like that. Yeah. All right. So Brady goes up five to three over Damian in a race to nine. All right, we're back. Here we go, Brady Golan break in. He is up six to three in a race to nine for the finals. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. That's what she said. <coughs> uh, ooh. That ooh, is scratch. not a good thing. Nope, a scratch on the break, giving Damien ball in hand. <sighs> Watched Damien a lot over the years and uh, he generally needs just one chance to get himself to, to right his ship you yep. know what i mean yep. and this could be it for him because this is a pretty good pretty good table oh yeah i don't think the two nine is in order but i don't know he might he might try to something no nope, he's, oh, he's, he's going for the he's going for the run out yep. 
you know, that's the other thing you'll notice about really good players is more often than not, they won't take those early outs. Yep. Unless yep. it is an absolute yeah. duck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, um, they they work the run out. Yep. Because that's your, you know, you can take a lot of swings at an early nine and lots of bad things can happen if it's not really a good, yep. good option. There's lots of things that look like a good option that aren't. Well, and, I, I get and they're my exes. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to throw that That's in. That's funny. That's funny. Um, no, I find that, you know, if I'm going to be playing pool, whether it be tournament or just league or playing somebody on the side or what, if you run the rack out on me, you're going to get respect. Yeah. If you take that early nine, I'm going to try everything I can to bury you the next time I get to the table. And I know of a few people here in Spokane. I mean, not going to name names, but they'll they'll fire at that wild nine, Oops. trying to pop it in the pocket. And yeah. Leave it hanging wide open for me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hey, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm going to let that one go, and I'm going to just decide to run them out and make you sit there patiently <laughs> and suffer. <laughs> so the little girl over there is asking if we're done yet. <laughs> She's pointing over here. Are you done yet? We are asking the same <laughs> thing. The same thing. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, we're we're pretty sure the score is five to three. That's what we've got um, in the score saloon that I've been keeping track of. That's what I've got on my score graphic, and that's what they've got on the little score balls above the table. So they all are in sync. We are in synchronous orbit around five three. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, uh oh, that ball's uh oh, spaghettios slide out a little bit, just a little bit. Yep, yep. And you're letting Brady back to the table, it's never good. Miguel made it to last night. I know that. I'm not sure how far he w he got. Um, he was not in the money, or was he? He he was. No, he was. Yeah. He, yeah. We had the sheet here somewhere. I think he was. Oh, here it is. I got it. He uh, Stretch. lost to Clyde, I believe. Miguel finished 13 through 16. Actually, I took a picture. I know it's up on uh, Facebook somewhere. Oh no, Clyde took out. It was actually uh, Paul Marquez that got Miguel. Yeah. It was on the live that was, stream. Yeah. The uh, entertaining match. 6 3 now for Brady. And he's got a little over an hour to make his border, cr border crossing. You know, <laughs> you know, sometimes they, uh, they, him and. Uh, Matt that comes down with him yeah. they, they'll get a hotel and stay yeah. that extra day because it's just too late and uh, we try and get yeah. everything rolling as quick as yeah. we can but you know some of these guys they, they are very patient and methodical with their shots and well and you know this this part of the tournament the matches end up being a lot closer oh yeah you know that you get a lot more hill hills than you would do early in the tournament you know yes yes because uh, these guys are rolling over let's be honest lesser players <laughs> yep. um you know so uh, but once you get to especially day three there's there, there's <laughs> nothing easy nothing easy and all of them are capable of putting a seven or eight pack on somebody, as we saw with uh, Paul and Brady earlier, you know. Yep, yep. So 
now he's left with, you know, something kind of interesting because trying to get a, a safety in here is even difficult, it looks like. I mean, knowing me, I'd be going for this cut shot, but that's just the way I play it. I think he was going for the yep. cut and just came, missed it on the way up. Is he going to get a little bit of the, ooh. <laughs> Did you get your gold star for the day over there? <laughs> Sharon. tone guys wrong tone <laughs> <laughs> depends on what you're trying to accomplish okay right tone wrong time <laughs> I will maintain that it's Sharon's fault because she laughs at what I say Yes, yes, she does. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so speaking of exhaustion from this tournament, being here for so long, mm -hmm. looking at some of these rail birds even, mm -hmm. they're, they're holding on to, to yeah. everything they got to see this match. Oh, yeah. You know, that's one thing that I've noticed over the years uh, that we've been coming here since yeah. you guys reconstituted the Spokane Open, that there is always a lot of spectators yes. you know, that come out to watch. Yes. And you don't see that a lot in some other tournaments. A lot of times it's just the players and their add-ons. Yeah. yeah. So it's really nice to see that there is that following here in Spokane. Yeah. Damien needs this win. He does. This he really needs this win. I have a feeling if, if he didn't pull this one through, that's going to hurt his spirit a little bit. Yeah. Well, you know, the more the more he lets Brady get ahead of him, it's it just is going to be that much harder for him to climb the mountain. Oh yeah. Nice shot, very nice shot. <laughs> All right, so Damien does get that. So it is six to four. <sighs> Brady up over Damien. <laughs> He's trying to make a comeback. Yep. If anybody can do it, I have faith in Damien. Oh, and so does Ramil. Ramil saying Damien needs to win, period. <laughs>
He's got a funny one ball here. It's kind of jammed up against the five. And just looks like Brady's not even going to have it watched, just going to let him shoot it. That should be obvious. But of course, the moment you say something like that, yep. it gets squirrely. Yeah. Well, I'm like, like earlier when I uh, had that that shot that needed to be watched, and I grabbed my phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it makes it so much easier, even if the person's gonna hit it at Mach nine. And I can't tell, but guess what? My phone can. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So now he's kind of in an interesting situation. Because that five ball came into some some play. Gave him an interesting angle for the two to go to the three. He's trying to avoid the uh, seven. Oh, that is Ooh, never good. That's not. Never that's good. not what he wanted. By any stretch of the imagination. No. Five in the corner, draw back for the seven. Take the, actually he wants to be above that eight too. Yeah. So this might be a couple of draw shots or maybe even a stun shot here to get him over for the seven. Angle on the seven. Yep. Played that textbook. All right, and uh, yep. Damien gave him that one too, so that makes it seven to four. It's kind of starting to feel like. A little bit of an inevitability is happening. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, not that Damien's not capable, but I don't know. So Brady just needs two more payouts for this event. <coughs> First place is 2,700, second place 1,700, third 1,000, fourth 700, fifth six 400, seventh eighth 250, ninth through 12th 125, 13 through 16 125. High lady got a hundred dollars, and high woman <laughs> and the top two finishers or top six finishers all got bio racks as yes, well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so Ramil's trying to make the distinction between white T and white E. Well, you know, English is not his first language. <laughs> <coughs> well, and, and Whitey had his nickname long before long I ever met these guys. Long before you had guys. White T, yep. well, That's funny. Ooh, he did yeah, not, he did hit, not the even hit the one ball. Wow. He was playing it so thin. Yep. He's he did that earlier. Did he? Yeah. I think wow. it was it was if it wasn't I think it was Brady that did that or somebody else did that earlier the 
tournament on the stream table where they just completely whiffed on the ball. Yeah. Now Damien has to bear down a little bit here. Oh yeah. <laughs> too far oh Ooh, wait no. so has the three over here yeah <laughs> <laughs> i that corner of the table is blocked by my monitor and i'm trying to look at the, the table and not look has. at the monitor because <laughs> you know god knows the monitor <laughs> you can who see who looks at a monitor to see the whole damn table <laughs> well considering you have uh how many how many views of the table on each monitor oh, here yeah <laughs> Technology, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> it's not the first time I've done that this weekend either. Oh, wow. <laughs> Trying to peek around the, the yes. monitor, getting in the line of sight for the shooter and distracting him. <laughs> That's good. That's good Ramil, too many Will, William White, etc. <laughs> I just call you... Friend zone. <laughs> oh. You know, Ramil, you should, um, you might want to rethink giving Will too hard of a time if you're going to let him come spend the night with you at the, over the uh, Thanksgiving weekend. He's from <laughs> Spokane. Okay. <laughs> They, like, hunt and fish and <laughs> shoot things here in Spokane. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the <coughs> outdoors life. Pretty sure everyone over here, you know, we, we carry a knife on us. <laughs> and, you know, we're talking a crocodile Dundee kind of knife. <laughs> All right, well, Damien's got the break All again. Right. Um, he's got control of the table in that sense, so let's yep. see if he can control the cue ball. <coughs> Ramil. <laughs> <coughs> he's, he is a nice dude. I like white. I like white. Will. I s couldn't. I was a cross between White T and Will. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> I know who you are. I promise. All right, Damien's left with a interesting one ball here. to go for the save and uh oh well, that looks pretty good yeah i think i think brady might have a slight angle to get a kick on this and maybe maybe pull one of those crazy canadian snooker safeties <laughs> i always enjoy when when brady comes down and get to shoot against him before all the matches start and you know even Damien getting pointers from both these guys helps my game yep He says he's setting up security cameras all over his house now. <laughs> Does he not know we wear camouflage? <laughs> that was a good hit. hit. And that was a good hit. Yeah, looks I, like he's yeah, got I he's got an eye on it. Boy, 
That's kind of doing a little bit of weaving back and forth there. Good hit, and let's see what it looks like here. Let me switch angles. He might, yeah. might yeah. have an edge. Yeah, if not, he can come off that side rail. Yep, just enough. Yeah, just enough of it is exactly right. <coughs> now the question is, can he get through the 7-8 uh, here without moving anything? Ah, see? Uh, he just barely missed the 7. If he had if he had made the 2, he probably would have hit the 7. And that's why he gave yep. a little more yep. planning on it. And mm -hmm. he, he's even grinning knowing, yep, he had, I just missed that angle. I don't know about anybody else, but my eyes are burning from the smoke. I, uh, yeah. So yeah. it's got to be starting to affect these guys, too. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that That's one thing uh, I'll actually carry in my, my pool case is eye drops. Yeah, a lot of people do. And not, not the Visine ones. I actually have uh, something from an eye doctor. I forget what brand it is, but they're very helpful when I'm sleepy. Oh, the old showing off making two balls in the corner pocket. For his next trick. <laughs> Watch him get on the hill. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to be a commentator's jinx right there. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> Look at that draw stroke. Yeah. You know, one of the things that Paul and... Um, um, Jeff were talking about when they were commentating earlier is yeah. with Brady's draw stroke that it's just such a fluid, oh, slow yeah. drawback of his yep. cue stick, and it's just it's it's like it's really pretty to watch. Oh yeah. <coughs> and he's on the hill. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I would have felt bad. Now, you think he's nervous about this last, possible last rack? Nah. <sighs> no, I, I think Brady's been around long enough. I don't think really much rattles him. You never know, because... Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I know I've been... Uh, this is my match uh, yesterday. I was on the hill, and I broke, and I juiced it. Gave it too much oomph. Didn't make a ball. And I knew it right as I hit the cue ball. I was like, you why, why am I hitting this so hard? <coughs> yep. Ooh. All right, well, Damien has a look at the one ball here. It's going to be a little tight. Yep. Uh, he's going to... Yeah, either way you look at it, it's uh, it's not pretty. No. But I think it squeaks in there. Yeah, I think it squeaks. Oh, nope. Oh, not he... when you hit it Mach 2. Yeah. Well, he hit it. He hit it weird too. I think if he had, yeah, you know, I don't know. 
But this is given, I think this is given Brady the, well, okay, let me rephrase. I'm not sure that the two goes by the five. I think it does. So if the two goes by the five, I think he does have the out here. Yeah. <clears throat> Or if uh, he can gonna, play to get above it, to take it. Above it. Yeah. That's going to be a little squirrely. Yep. Although now it might actually go by the five, except he's a little too close to his work, I think. Yeah, you know, with that angle, he's just going to, he'd have to play almost a 90 degree cut shot yeah. if it goes. But trying to see if it goes, having that cue ball line up right over the top, it's tough to see your angle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. It's all scary. It's all very scary. Looks like he's just going to play it safe. Simple. Interesting. I don't know if he wanted to run into that three or not. <laughs> Um, Ron Rutan is asking what our next stream is going to be, and that's a little bit up in the air at this moment, because um, uh, normally we have an NWPA event in November, I'm sorry, in October, um, that I am not sure is going to happen, because it's... They're still in negotiations with the parlor, uh, trying to figure out what's going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, as currently published, um, <clears throat> we do not have anything scheduled. Um, all right, is that is Ford's event happening at all, or has that been canceled? Because he can't find a room. Oh, okay, wow. so as as our schedule is currently published, our next event will be in November, <clears throat> unless something happens. But uh, if you check out rail to rail .tv, um, you'll see our um, schedule and whatnot posted there. <clears throat> I'm kind of shocked that uh, you guys wouldn't be doing the... Uh like a live stream for that Snoqualmie tournament. Um, Bad Boys is doing it. Oh, Bad Boys is doing it? Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who was doing that because I know the nine ball one they had, I don't think that was streamed. No, that nine ball one. Like their initial. Yeah, they wanted to see how it went see how before it went. they decided okay. about live okay. streaming. Yeah, I remember seeing the format and being asked to be on a team with uh, Stan back initially because they needed someone <coughs> under 575, oh, I think. Oh, right. Or however. And I was like, oh, that would be fun being on a team with Stan. Looks like Brady has some easy pickings on this. Talking about having one player on your team that significantly increases your chances. Oh, yes. <laughs> Plan on the tables that he dominates on. <clears throat> well, this is looking pretty much mm -hmm. like uh, once again Brady Golan defends his title. Yep. So if he wins it. 10 out of 11 times, is that when it becomes the Brady Golan Open? <laughs> um, or do you have, are you going to make him win it a full dozen? Come on. It's got to be a full dozen, I think. And I think it's got to be in a row. Oh. <laughs> That's the other thing. Okay. So he's... Congratulations, nice, Brady. Nice wow. Out. Nice shooting, guys. That was a great tournament by both guys. Wow. Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right. So Brady Golan has once again defended his title as the Spokane Open champion.